The Navajo Nation has a long history of rich culture deriving from Navajo traditional oral stories handed down from generation to generation. Recently, smoke-free policies to prohibit commercial tobacco, secondhand smoke in public places have been proposed within the Navajo Nation. Researchers from the Networks Among Tribal Organizations for Clean Air Policy Project wanted to explore and understand the history, role, and influences of commercial tobacco and secondhand smoke within the Navajo culture, specifically within the Navajo ceremonial settings. Back in the early 1900s when these um, various um, tribes came onto the reservation and started sharing the proceedings with our people. I think at the time they had already begun using these um, bull derm tobaccos in their ceremonial proceedings. I think it just kind of was like that's the way it's done and that's the way we're doing that kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nineteen ก็ต้องจะขาดสันเดอะก็อาจจะเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อ
commercial tobacco is readily available, it's, it's more convenient to go and spend a few bucks and just to have something prepared. Every trip you make, it lasts longer. Oh. Oh. This is very uh, uh, sensitive and it's very controversial, as you, know, as you might already know. But, uh, you know, there's a claim that that the commercial tobacco is uh, safe, you know, within the context of an actual, you know, uh, NAC, you know, ceremony, whether it's A, B, and D, and they say it's safe, but I really don't think so. I wish there was a case study by young people, you know, that, that, that could look at that, you know, maybe five years, ten years, and uh, <clears throat> you'll find that you know, these people who utilize commercial tobacco within, you know, NAC ceremony would develop, you know, uh, those uh, problems associated with, you know, cancer. That, that, that has never been done. <laughs> Bonnet's a